guys, welcome to How To Live Your Style. I'm Shara and this is my brother Jimmy. Hey. Today we are bringing you guys an amazing project. We're partnering with Bear Paint, but this time we are doing it indoors. We're working on a project at their beautiful house. Him and his wife Emily, they've got like the best place ever. And the color of your entire house indoors is? It's actually a bear color. It's called elephant skin and it's a tinted gray. It's like a warm gray. Yeah. And their bedroom is also awesome, but it's the headboard is the, actually kind of the same color as the wall. Right. Our mom, she's an interior designer, and we love to DIY and do all things interior design, so we thought, hello, project, let's DIY that back wall and do exactly. something really awesome. So we're gonna work together and make this, make this happen. You guys ready to see what we're gonna do? Let's get started. Sandpaper, wood, time to start sanding. We are gonna show you how to DIY a white wood shiplap wall. Here's what you're gonna need. A six inch roller with three fourths inch nap, one and one fourth angled 15 gauge nail gun nails, a plastic drop cloth, sandpaper and six inch wide planks of plywood, nickels, a spackling knife, spackling paste, a tape measure, a level, an angled paintbrush, a nail gun and its jumbo air thingy, I think they call that a compressor, the Bayer app to help you select your perfect complementary color, and paint. Jimmy's gonna get us started by hanging the first plank on the very top, making sure it's level, and we're ready to get going. Yeah, we're gonna use a nail gun. Yeah, and with the nail gun, just so you guys know, you can use a hammer and a tack, however, that would take a lot of time and a lot of energy. Yes. So uh, we recommend just renting a nail gun, that's what we did, yep. and it'll make the process so much faster. Yep. Okay, let's get started. You may want to use a stud finder to mark where the studs are so you can securely nail the wood into the wall. So we're gonna bring it all the way to the ceiling and want to make sure it's level. We're gonna bring it up to the ceiling and use a bubble level. It helps to have two people for this project. That way, someone can hold the plank in place while you nail the wood in with the nail gun. The next step after you have your first plank nailed into the wall is to measure for the next. You want to take a whole plank, line it up against the wall here, and then with a pencil just mark exactly where you need to make your cut. After you make your cut, this is what's going to go up here on this top line, and this extra piece is now what's going to start your next line. You'll want to use those nickels to separate your planks that way the spaces are all even. Next, you'll want to fill in your nail holes with the spackling so they disappear when you paint over them. You guys, we finished the wall. It's done. Holla. And it's ready to be painted. Oh man, that was a tough job, but so fun and kind of yes. therapeutic actually. So now we need to decide what color we're gonna go for. Let's go figure it out. Let's do it. That is the color of your actual house, yes. right? Elephant skin. Okay, well the coolest thing about this app, if you turn it, that swatch around. All right, the bar showed back here. Yeah, I can scan it. And then coordinate. Yes, they have real cute names. And some of them are like, just so personal. Oh, this one's cool. This one's called Unwind. Ooh. This sounds kind of nice to yeah. relax. Close your eyes right now and which one do you feel most connects with you? And the vibe that you guys are going for your room? I think Unwind. Unwind? Yes. All right. Not Polar Bear? Not no. Crystal I'm Cut? St I'm sticking with Unwind. What about Diamonds? I think Emily would really like the yeah, Diamonds. I think Unwind. All right. All right. Unwind it is. Here we go. It's a good idea to cover the flooring with your plastic protected sheet. We painted the wall with our roller, painting along the direction of the planks. You want to make sure you use an angled brush to paint all of the corners. We're using Bare Premium Plus Ultra Paint in this beautiful unwind color. And like that, 
We're done. We painted the wall. It looks awesome. It looks really retreat-like. Can't wait to put the furniture back in. I know. So let's let it dry and we're gonna move it back in. Perfect. Let's go. look I am so happy with the way that it turned out and I hope that my brother and his wife absolutely love it as well special thank you to bear paint for helping us make this happen if you guys like this DIY leave me a thumbs up below and maybe comment below and tell me I don't know do you like how it turned out what color would you have painted yours if you were to do this kind of a project and maybe if you do want to do this project what room would you do it in your bedroom your kitchen your living room I want to know Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you have not subscribed, click right here and subscribe. And if you got some more time, watch the videos. You know what to do. See you next week. Bye-bye.